yeah, it's time for Q&A. This is where you ask them cues and I A them. I have no idea what's coming my way at BT Dubs, so. Here we go. Well, Chloe and Pigs, the show that I have been binge watching. At the moment, I haven't really been binge watching per se, but I have found a couple shows that I really enjoy. One of them being Chef's Table on Netflix. It's a six part series, I believe, and they tell the stories of different chefs and they are incredible. And I also really enjoy another Netflix series called Grace and Frankie, which is about two older couples who are married and the four people are friends. They're all, I believe, like in their 60s or 70s. And the two husbands end up being gay and they tell their wives that they have been having an affair with each other for the last two decades of their marriage. And so the storyline follows the breakup of these two marriages and the relationships involved, including the children of the couples. I think it's a really interesting show and I love the way that they inject humor into something that is ultimately very serious. B period asks, what's my favorite way to eat potatoes? I have to say after going to Maine and going to the Holy Donut and eating their dark chocolate sea salt donut, which is made from a base of potatoes, that has to be my favorite way to eat potatoes. My God, those things are delicious. But also, more readily available, french fries, please. Alejandra asks if I have an embarrassing drunk story. Don't we all? I literally had the best feel of my entire life, and I didn't realize that I guess I was drunk because I felt really good. There was a wine tasting involved, so there was a lot of mixing, and my body just wasn't used to it, and I was just so excited about the food and all the delicious wine. And uh, then when I decided to go to sleep, realized I'm not feeling so great. And threw up the best meal that I have ever had in my entire life. Like, all of it. As I was throwing up, I was like, why? <laughs> why is this happening? <laughs> Cecilia asks if there's a song that I listen to all the time, whether I'm happy or sad. I must say that Back Home Ballers might be my personal anthem. It's an SNL skit and it is freaking amazing. If I'm sad, it makes me feel a little bit better. And if I'm in a great mood, it makes me feel even better. Awake and Styles asks, what color should I paint my nails? I don't know if I'm the person to ask right now because currently I'm not wearing any nail polish because I'm trying to let my nails breathe. I do have nail polish on my toes though, but I don't remember the name. So that's not very helpful. Here's a color that always works. Essie Fiji. It's beautiful on everyone. I think it's just always gonna be one of my faves. Lauren Jones asks, what's your favorite animated movie? Okay, so I'm gonna break this up into two categories. For Disney movie, I will go with my lifelong favorite of Beauty and the Beast with Little Mermaid being a close runner up and Alice in Wonderland close behind that. And then I also really love anime, so my two favorites are Spirited Away and Howl's Moving Castle. My faves, love them, they never get old. Kay Lucas asks for advice for someone who's about to come out to their family. The number one most important thing to consider and ask yourself is, am I in a safe environment? I think it's good to have an existing safety net of people that you can kind of fall back on. I think it's also good to remember that this journey journey that you have gone through yourself probably took a lot of processing, so whoever you're telling is also probably going to need to process that. So I think it's good to be understanding up to a certain extent and lean on the people around you who love you and will support you no matter what. Allison asks what I do if I can't sleep. I actually sleep pretty well, but there are always going to be those nights where you know you have a little bit more difficulty falling asleep. And for me, I have found that the number one reason why I can't fall asleep is because of this right in here, my brain. Because it's just churning like crazy and it won't turn off. I will normally move to the couch, I'll read a book, I'll do some writing, anything to kind of get 
my thoughts out of my brain and somewhere else or a way for me to process things a little bit more before going to sleep. It's really just about getting my mind into a relaxed state and for me that is reading and writing. All right, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you for sending in all your cues. I loved aing them. Here's what you lovely people had to say about last week's 5MFU video and if you would like me to talk about something specific in the future, tweet me on Twitter using the hashtag 5MFU or leave a comment down below because I read through them and you guys help me think of ideas for my next vids because you know, your brains are pretty great. I have to say, so I'm gonna go now. I love you, mwah, mwah. Slow motion kissing, mwah, with a third grade haircut.